If I should return with my body on my shield, tell my son I chose to die, then yield. Though my life may soon be gone, I hope you'll carry on. Remember me. As one who would not heal. Fight with blood, fight with steel, die with honor. Illuminati card game. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of the card game, or if you haven't heard of the Illuminati, then you're about to learn right now. Uh, this dude is pretty knowledgeable on stuff like this. And you can describe it a lot better than I can, especially since you can't read the fucking cards on here. <laughs> Uh, I think they got it like that on purpose, because no matter where you go, you can find the cards anywhere. And no matter where you go, it seems like they're always blurry. There's one or two places where you can actually see it clearly. Uh, and there's a few things I don't like about it. Like, yes, Alex Jones and Ron Paul are in cards. I don't know if they're... I don't know if they're made up or if they're actual cards. Because I never saw the whole deck. There's like 500 cards or some shit. But they say there's only like 190 or something. I have no idea. All I know is these fucking... The people who run... The evil scumbags who run shit. In this world. Who decide everything. And I mean everything. E-B-E-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G. Yeah, I could spell. They, they play games like this. Right in front of your fucking face. You about to learn about the Illuminati. The Illuminati card game released by Steve Jackson Games in 1983 is a game where players compete with each other to dominate the world. Although it's just an old card game, the game has many different cards that have actually resembled real life events despite being created so long before. Some think there are several cards that are yet to happen. Like this one. In short, there are many theories that these cards have predicted or possibly showed for not combined disaster. I mean, it literally fucking tells you what's gonna happen. I mean, not every single card, but I mean, knowledge of some of the catastrophes we have witnessed since the game has been created, such as not now. Take a good look at that picture right there. I know a lot of you have heard about. You know, the fucking pyramids are going to take off one day. Fucking start up and just take off. <laughs> yeah, it, ain't, it ain't no fucking joke to them. And they got the fucking technology, so I wouldn't laugh about it. I wouldn't fucking doubt it either. 9-11 and many more. Look at it. See, he's got, they got a fucking gun. Holding a gun and holding some something else. Crazy fucks. Creator, Steve Jackson claims the game is a lighthearted parody of the Illuminati, another secret organization. In, in other words, the guy is a fucking psychic. It's Just to people who don't chance. know, the Illuminati, also known as the New World Order, there rises a group of people who pride themselves on world domination and reducing the population of the world 
for the better or better evil. Bingo. Okay. Now, if you don't know the Illuminati, you just learned in about five seconds what the Illuminati was right here. The New World Order is theorized as a group of people who pride themselves on world domination and reducing the population of the world for the better or better evil. And see, what they're doing is they're doing everything. I mean, their only, their only goal is one or two things. But look at all the shit they're doing to fucking get there. And they're having fun doing it. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. The Illuminati has been theorized to control most of what you hear on the radio, see on TV or movies, and even people of power. Back to the game. The game would go on to release several versions after 1983, with one of its most popular set being released in 1990. The game titled The Illuminati New the World Order. One is There's a story surrounding the game that its creator, Stephen Jackson's office, was raided by the Secret Service in 1990, with some of his computer equipment being That's seized. True. Stephen Jackson Games would be accused of fraud and hacker activity. However, the accusations failed to have much weight to them, and the judge threw the case out and dropped all charges. One theory that remains why the Illuminati never came after Steven Jackson, this was because the card game would potentially fictionalize the group and make people think it's just a made up group in a card game. Everything was all good until an event happened in 2001 that showed one of the cards in the game becoming a reality. Here are a few events no, that were illustrated was... in this card game That's just when before they, they first happened noticed. in real life. <laughs> Number one, the 9-11 terrorist attack on the Twin Towers. This card is definitely one of the most controversial cards, since they definitely show two identical... Okay, now... Now, you can't really say that this is from 9-11, because they actually planned to knock down the towers in 1993. Okay, they didn't do it. So, you know, a game came out in 95, I think. That was in 93, so it could just be a depiction from that. I mean, there's all you could do shit with all sorts of pictures and say whatever, you know. But, there are no coincidences, and when you have fucking almost 500 of them, uh, that should be telling to everybody. Towers, they show an explosion just around the same area, the actual crash, and also, the title of the car be... Sorry Number two, the Pentagon to... attack on 9-11. This also happened the same day as the Twin Towers attack. The picture shows the Pentagon with the center up in flames. After Flight 77, who was allegedly flown by pilot Hany Hanjour, an inexperienced pilot who couldn't even pass flight school, the plane crashed into the Pentagon, that, causing that part of the building to go frame, up in flames. It's an obvious Number result. three, Backlash. This card shows a black male on the stand was something I would assume is paintball shot at him. Could this possibly be the backlash that President Obama is seeing today? Especially weird that the card was made since President Diana. did a murder. A series of a movie called Those Knowing, pills. starring a movie showing the number being destroyed along a huge clock collapsing. Many people believe this card My represents dude. Japan, and the clock in the picture heavily I resembles really falling right after with waves reaching 6.6 .6 feet high with green I don't know if you guys saw the J the Japanese video of the tsunami there's this white thing in the middle of the video I can only describe it as a, an entity or some kind of a creature but the fucking thing it looked like a bed sheet it climbed right up the wall and went on top of the roof now I'm going to show a video of that, man. That was incredible. And you know it's not fake, because that was fucking... I mean, people are running for their fucking lives. <laughs> uh, so I'll show that. With green clothes on, which is the color of the Boston Celtics team. Yeah, Boston. Plan to reduce the population. Illuminati's main plan to reduce main the population. Plan. Ain't no the joke. Guard, there's a black cloud formulation of a face. 
During 9-11, many faces were spotted in a dark flame yeah, clouds coming from the impact. Could that represent I that? Could like this that. be some type of biological attack and waiting to happen in like, New York? That's Osama bin Laden. Number 9, it's saying Back Osama Masquerade. Did. This card represents something we can see very often today. Uh, there's a lot of videos coming out recently with musicians, uh, you know, people in music and people in movies. And the celebrities are finally starting to come out of the woodwork and talking about this shit. Illuminati. A lot of people are shitting their pants, like Chris Brown. And you thought fucking cloning was uh, hood. Yeah, they're fucking serious. The video coming up after this, uh, I'm going to show the celebrities. So. Demonic There's, messages and music and movies. Yeah, subliminal messages. The image is show. But you know what? They tell they tell the stories, and you gotta fucking hear the whoppers about Jay Z and Beyonce. Wow, you can't make this shit up. Like I was just passively listening to it. And like eight minutes went by and I was like, wait, 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 what? What? Because they said something that I know for a fact was true. And I was, I, so I went back and listened to it again. I couldn't believe it. Folks, you gotta hear this. It's incredible. Our cat whips and games in 1983. It's a game where players compete with each other to dominate the world. Now, <clears throat> Oh yeah, that was the newer game. World. Although it's just an old card game, the game has many different cards that have actually resembled real life events, despite being created so long before. Some think there are several cards that are yet to happen. And sure. Hey, let's get real here. First of all, of course it's all planned out. Hello, planned out, and I'm under the impression that. The people on top of the pyramid and the New World Order can see into the future. And they're not even human. You won't believe the fucking places I'm taking you. We haven't even left the fucking backyard yet. And I want to just... The image is show... But you know what? They tell, they tell the stories. And you gotta fucking hear the whoppers about Jay Z and Beyonce. Wow. You can't make this shit up. Like, I was just passively listening to it. And like eight minutes went by, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. What? What? Because they said something that I know for a fact was true. And I was, I, so I went back and listened to it again. I couldn't believe it. Folks, you gotta hear this. It's incredible. Our cat whips and games in 1983. It's a game where players compete with each other to dominate the world. Now, <clears throat> oh yeah, that was the newer game. World. Although it's just an old card game, the game has many different cards that have actually resembled real life events, despite being created so long before. Some think there are several cars that are yet to happen. And sure. Hey, let's get real here. First of all, of course, it's all planned out. Hello. Planned out. And I'm under the impression that the people on top of the pyramid and the New World Order can see into the future. And they're not even human. You won't believe the fucking places I'm taking you. We haven't even left the fucking backyard yet. 